Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, a tech channel, and whether your Nexus 6P is messed up, locked up, or you're locked out, I'll show you how in a few easy steps using just the buttons on the side, you can factory reset your phone. There are not a lot of buttons on the Nexus 6P. There's the power button here, and then this is the volume button, volume up, volume down. And one last warning before we get started, this will erase everything in the internal memory of the phone. So that's photos, contacts, videos, apps, it'll all be gone, so make sure you've backed up everything you need to keep. Now, starting with your phone, powered off, you look for the volume up and down button on the side. You're going to press both volume up and volume down at the same time and hold them. Once you've done that, then you'll add the power button and press that. Pressing volume up down, pressing power button, holding it, and we're to the first screen. Now, when I completed that process, my phone came up to reboot bootloader. It depends on where your fingers are on the volume button when it comes into this screen. You're supposed to see this one, start, and there are several options you can go through. You can see the up and down arrows here next to the volume up, volume down, so you can scroll through and see them all. The one you're looking for is recovery mode, and it is in red. That's the one there. When you have that on the screen, you're going to briefly press the power button to select it. Here's the fallen Android screen. Below you can see it says no command. Now you'll need to use the buttons to get past this screen. What you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the power button and then press and release the volume up button. This is a little tricky. You may have to go through the whole thing a few times before you catch this one. Pressing and holding power. Press and release. Volume up. And now we're into the next screen. I have zoomed in as much as possible so you can see this. If you're over 40, you probably want to have a pair of reading glasses handy. Uh, the option you're looking for is to wipe data factory reset, and you're going to use the volume up and down buttons to go through and select the option. I believe it's four down. One, two, three, four. And when it's highlighted to select it, you briefly press the power button. One last warning on this screen in red, this will wipe all user data. Are you sure? And you have a yes, no option. Now, I did mention this will erase everything on the phone, right? And one second now, if this doesn't happen to be your phone for whatever reason, and you're thinking, well, I'll just factory restore it, get rid of everything, and set up my account on it, the very latest versions of Android and the very newest Nexus devices have a special security feature built in that will let you erase a phone, but when it comes back up, you need to log in with the Google account assigned to this phone. In other words, the Google email address and password or the recovery of the phone will not finish. You cannot set up a new account on it. So if this doesn't happen to be your phone, you might want to stop at this point. Anyhow, here we are. It's time to erase the phone and do, finish the factory reset. So you're going to use the volume up and down buttons to choose, yes, I do want to continue and erase my phone. That means volume down one time. We've now selected yes. Go up to the power button. Press it to select yes. And no going back from this. Down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the progress as the phone is being erased. And then up here, this is the menu that you saw one screen back. And we will use this to restart it once this is completed and we get that message. That was pretty quick. The message data wipe complete means it's finished. So look back up at the top of the screen. The very first option is to reboot system now. If that's not the one that's selected, use the volume up and down to select it. When it is selected, Press the power button and your phone will restart and become like new. After a few minutes, you should be back to this screen. Remember to tap, not slide have to sign up with the Wi-Fi so that the authentication can happen to make sure this is your phone when we get to that point. 
Here's that new security feature that makes it pointless for someone to steal your phone and reset it thinking they'll be able to set it up for themselves. It says right here you need to sign in with an account that was previously used on this phone. Let me do that now. And with two-step verification, um, I'll need to enter a code that's being sent to me via text. Good thing I don't have my SIM card in this phone. There are other ways to get that code, though you can have them email it to you and then check it on your computer. But need to enter that code here, again, in order to make sure this is my account that I'm restoring onto the phone. After I entered my password, I was given the option to either sign in with that account or a different account. So basically, I had proven that it was my phone and at that point they would then let me set it up with a different account. But here I am back to the standard things of when you first turn the phone on, the things you need to set up. So with the new security features the process is a little trickier than it used to be but so long as it's your phone that you are doing the factory reset on and you're just setting it back up because it got messed up by apps or something like that, you shouldn't have any problems.